I chose the Divine Light Invocation because it has the growing part in it. And today we bless the garden. And um, we do that every year. So it helps the garden and it helps us. But I was thinking about how we use our inner garden or how we use the body we have, this body garden. Um, it's a living, breathing thing. And we prepare the soil, we prepare everything for the garden to produce the most beautiful vegetables and flowers. So how do we prepare ourselves for growing into light? What would be your path? What would be the preparation you would do? What would you, what, what are the steps? We repeat the mantra. We want to get the power of that mantra. So what do you have to do to grow into light? And if we take the image of the garden, People working the garden, digging it, gathering all the seeds and the things that they need. What seeds have you planted? How have you prepared yourself for growing into light? And what would it look like? What would you look like? Would you notice the change? How long would it take before you could see the change. You can't go out there every day and see the garden popping up, but you, a couple of days at a time, and as it gets brighter and brighter, it seems to get faster and faster in its growth. So when we do yoga, we're doing Hatha Yoga, or any of the other yogas that we do here. If you come with spiritual intent, then the benefits are greater. You're starting to bring, to bring something in, some seed of something that you want to know about, or you know about something and you want to explore it deeper and deeper, because it ends with I'm ever growing into light. It doesn't stop. So we're so used to being concrete, but we want to grow into something that's very subtle. We want to be able to use those subtle powers that are just sort of, where are they? How do I, how do I grow them? How do I make them part of me? How do, and the body is very helpful. Bowing down to the light, bowing down to the divine, leaving the pressures, leaving the pain, leaving the places it's stored in your body, giving it over to the light. Getting your body to sit very still and quiet so that the mind becomes still and quiet. Filling your body, every cell of this, my physical body, with light. It's bound to bring some change. You're ever growing into light. So there's always this movement this way with a body. If you sit too long, it gets stiff. So there's something that it wants to move into. And if it can be lightness and flow, it's so much better for the body. You don't want to carry everything, the heaviness. You want to make yourself lighter and lighter. So just take 
We'll take a few minutes to look inside. So focus your eyes on the space between your eyebrows. Become aware of your breath and your body. What is it, what is it doing? Imagine a beautiful garden. It is your inner garden, your body garden. Choose a path. Walk slowly. Stop. Absorb. Look around. Look for the miracles, the tiny miracles the beautiful ones. See with the gentleness of the eye of light. Touch things. Hear the energy flowing in your body garden. All the veins, the nerves are the path that you walk along. Leading you to the sacred altar of your heart. Filling it with light. Hear the rhythm of the beat of life. Become aware of the force of light growing. It is like a dance, light and flowing. You move along, weightless, like a cloud. Moving in waves. Listen. See, touch, smell. Become aware of your own divinity. Take the nectar of your own divinity. Take the nectar of your intuition. Be receptive to the light. See yourself glistening in the light. So find different ways to, that work for you to find your center, to be able to connect with that, to be able to grow into light.
There are many paths. Find the one that works for you. Take yourself there when you need to.